I will move to the next presentation, which is a presentation of one of the successful projects, uh, uh, which, which is Surfoncell. And uh, this is just acronym, and basically uh, it means, or I will be talking about surface functionalization of uh, cellulose matrices using cellulose embedded uh, nanoparticles. Uh, this project activity is coordinated by University of Graz, uh, by my uh, boss of my department, Professor Volker Ribic. So, um, basically, the overall budget of the project is 8 million euros. Uh, its duration is uh, since December 2008 to December 2012, so we are in the third year now, at the end of the third year, and we have one more year left. And the main objectives are to create uh, polymer composites, uh, which, we ha which will have some novel properties, and uh, will show some exceptional uh, surface functionalities in terms of uh, chemical, mechanical, or selective interaction properties. Our attitude uh, to achieve this is to, to produce materials uh, which will be composed on cellulose matrices uh, and include nanoscaled polysaccharide uh, layers with embedded nanoparticles. And uh, the other idea is to restrict the uh, compounding only to the uh, surface outer layers, and this is bringing several advantages. Uh, basically, there is uh, no uh, incorporation of filler needed in this case, and thus the production uh, process of these matrices is unchanged, and also the deterioration of mechanical properties is then uh, suppressed. Uh, but what is the aim to, to be studied uh, are the new uh, processes like uh, absorption of uh, uh, cellulose derivatives, uh, cellulose dissolution, uh, structuring with nanoparticles, and irreversible coating uh, with the aim to develop uh, bio-based materials with tailored functions which would be applied in many fields and also uh, on, on a higher scale. Uh, coming to the overall strategy, um, the aim is to coat uh, the solid cellulose surfaces with soluble polysaccharides, and this um, can be achieved by irreversible manner while there is um, quite high chemical uh, similarity between these molecules. And th this kind of uh, absorption behavior is true even for the uh, derivatized uh, molecules in case um, there is not a significant amount of um, uh, side chains. Then the nanoparticles will be incorporated into these layers. And this uh, approach uh, provides a high potential uh, to, to produce materials with a variety of material properties, um, probably to create new routes to uh, obtain new materials, and we, we uh, as I will show, uh, try to also upscale them and put them into uh, production. So here is the uh, picture which illustrates uh, the strategy, uh, as, I, as I explained in the previous slide. So basically, the soluble polysaccharide uh, is derivatized or functionalized, uh, and then it is either absorbed, and nanoparticles are incorporated into this absorbed polysaccharide level, or the second approach uh, is uh, that the nanoparticles are stabilized using uh, this uh, polysaccharide and absorbed or bro bro bring brought into the cell uh, surface. The fields of application of such uh, uh, atti uh, attitude or uh, concept uh, are, can, can, can be found in separation technologies, uh, producing uh, selective interaction absorbers, let's say. Then uh, they can be of interest uh, producing packaging foils with uh, improved water vapor and oxygen barrier properties. And then another field of application might be uh, technical fibers with uh, specific surface modifications specific properties like flame retardancy conductivity, antimicrobial activity, or barrier properties. And there is uh, potential to, to, for the application in different fields like medical or hygienic devices. Uh, another uh, option is uh, high yield pulp, where the focus um, is uh, UV protected paper and uh, reduced uh, consumption of material and paper weight. Uh, there are also some uh, topics uh, which are coming together with this uh, approach, and those are the fields of uh, sensorics, uh, displays, electronic devices, uh, structural changes um, uh, are achieved normally by the influence of external stimulation or conducting cellulose composite materials. So I will a little bit show uh, management structure of the project. Uh, basically, uh, 
there is a management uh, body board that you see uh, in the blue color, and the discussion is uh, uh, running uh, between project coordinator, financial and research, uh, or scientific manager. Uh, there are work package leaders responsible for particular activities which are communicating with this management body. Um, there are also uh, scientific uh, contributions from coming from external side available where we can discuss uh, some new approaches and ideas. And of course, um, exploitation advisory group which connects uh, industrial partners together with uh, internal scientists um, where, where we can find a feasible way to uh, put these ideas into practice in a higher scale. In case uh, there are some more serious questions, uh, the communication with the European Commission is needed. Uh, coming um, once again to overall strategy uh, to present you uh, the applications, um, there is division uh, made, I would say, from bottom uh, up to top, while um, the idea is starting with basic research, which is focused either to, uh, on chemical modification or nanoparticle systems. Uh, based on these two approaches, uh, there are different formulations um, uh, f uh, made, and um, final strategy is selected, which, which uh, uh, shows uh, success, then put uh, into higher scale or even uh, to supplier chain uh, partners, which can produce then higher amounts of the materials, and finally, it's transformed into demonstrators, where four uh, companies are involved. Uh, it is Mondi producing paper, Lithia producing fibers, Pente producing uh, membranes, and Inovia uh, producing um, films. As a, side, uh, um, as a side product of these uh, ideas, there are some scientific hot topics which I will show in the achievement section. So, um, specifying more the demonstrators, I mentioned there are four companies uh, involved in the project, uh, and there is uh, one of the demonstrators is EV protected uh, uh, high yield pulp, which will enable a reduced uh, paper weight. Another demonstrator are UV stable or UV protective and antimicrobial yarns for textile industry. Uh, then there are nanocellulose films uh, based on cell uh, cellophane with reduced permeability properties. Uh, and fourth demonstrator. Um, are cellulose acetate membranes for hormone removal from drinking water. There is also a list uh, of the beneficiaries which are include, involved in this project. And as you can see, uh, first uh, seven partners, or first eight partners, uh, are academic partners, either universities or public uh, research partners, and uh, the last uh, six partners are industrial partners involved. So it's kind of uh, well balanced. The, there are different responsibilities of these partners, uh, but I will better sh show the achievements as we are in the third year than to focus uh, on the particular responsibilities. So starting with this uh, bottom approach, um, um, starting with chemical derivatization, there were some achievements uh, made at the University of Vienna towards um, different cellulose derivatives. And you can see uh, the mm, there, there were six, uh, at least six, uh, novel uh, polysaccharide derivatives which could be produced with different uh, substitution degree uh, based on different uh, polymers like pulp, starch, or uh, cellulose. Coming to the higher scale uh, to TITK uh, partner, there were uh, some uh, cellulose derivatives put uh, into higher scale, basically uh, into kilogram scale, and some some of them were produced using regular selective derivatization approach. So as a summary, uh, there were different derivatized polysaccharides prepared and that successful um, upscaling was achieved up to one kilogram scale. Uh, focusing on nanoparticles, uh, we synthesized uh, different noble metal nanoparticles as a first approach. Another approach uh, were cellulose acetate nanoparticles, including also cellulose acetate functionalized nanoparticles, uh, which were produced um, then there were uh, different studies on characterization and stabilization of these systems and uh, compounding on cellulose surfaces was also examined. So uh, coming to the demonstrators, first uh, Inovia uh, films, which would have reduced water vapor permeability. Basically the current strategy to achieve this uh, reduced permeability 
is a coating of uh, cellophane with epichlorohydrin and melamine for all date reasons. And polyvinylidene uh, chloride is applied uh, as a moisture barrier on these films, so it's really not something that is uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, our aims uh, are to achieve substantial decrease in water uh, vapor uh, transmission rate and also increase dimensional stability of these spoils as they are known uh, as highly swelling. Attitude which we applied uh, in surf and cell are soldier coatings, as you can see uh, on the first picture, and layer by layer coatings um, containing polymers uh, and uh, platelet particles. The results which were achieved uh, at the moment uh, is improvement of dimensional stability up to 40%. Uh, then water vapor transmission rate was reduced uh, from original values for the uncoated foil uh, by 75%, and pilot trials are uh, ongoing at the moment. 